Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? Uh, we're going to show you just a little bit of color grading in iMovie, and it is extremely simple to do. Now, it doesn't give you a bunch of options like Final Cut Pro, but if you're a blogger on YouTube, really, this is basically all you need until you get to that next level. This is just going to be a few little simple tips on color grading for iMovie just to get you started. If you like the video, I hope you'll give it a like at the very end or before you leave. I really would appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, sub subscribe. We talk about all kind of products for Apple and applications and all kind of different stuff. Okay, so we have this picture here, and as you can see, it's pretty flat. So this is this is going to be pr very easy to get the look that we want to get. You know, as you can see, it's a short little uh, eight-second clip. The first thing I do, since I, you know I'm not trying to make it super cinematic or nothing, I just want it to look good. So the first thing I do is I, I come up here, and you would click this first button. It's the little round circle, and click Auto, okay? iMovie will try to fix it for you. Okay, so there it is, but it does you know, look a whole lot better than what it did look like. I mean, look at the difference here. A ton of difference. This little stick here also, it says improves the video and the audio. So if you only want to do a video, then click auto here. But if you want to improve your video and auto, then you can uh, click here. Okay, now another way that is very simple is you come here to these three little circles and you have filters for your clips. And you, you would not believe how many times this is enough when you're just wanting to get something that looks sharp, maybe with a different look. Now, these filters are not going to look that great on this clip because it's super flat. It'll actually look better uh, if there's a color in the video because this is not a loot. I guess it would be in some way or another, but it's, it's basically a filter. Make it look like it's nighttime. Uh, this brightens it up. It gives it a little bit of a glow. Uh, so, you know, this is something you can play around with. You never know. I mean, for example, this one, it's hard light. I mean, honestly, that looks really, really good. I mean, just that's the way it looked. Now look with hard light. I mean, it to just be able to, to click that one time and it did that to the clip is really amazing. Now, if you want to color grade yourself, uh, there are several uh, options here. Uh, you've got basically your blues and your reds. This is your temperature or color temperature. You can go from warmer to cooler. So as you can see, this is going all the way blue. This is going way hot. Adjust your saturation to make the clip uh, more colorful, less colorful. And like I said, if the clip already has color in it, this will really boost it up or you can bring it down a little bit. Uh, so we can actually go up just a hair with this. This line here adjusts the highlights. Uh, so you can actually make the bright areas brighter or you can make them darker. So, you know, let's let's just bring it down just a little bit. I don't usually mess with the contrast that, that much. I mean, we could probably move it up just a hair. And then this other one is, you know, another brightness level in the middle. Uh, this other one here is another contrast. Now this here I really like because you can kind of brings, you can look at this. I mean, you can just bring the blacks in. See, now I really like that look there. I like the looks that are a little bit darker, more real. You can play around with this and you know, and, and and don't ever think, well, oh, I'm going to mess my picture up because all you have to do then is just go up here and hit reset and it just knocks everything right back the way it was and you can start over. Let's give it like a dark, a, let's hear like a dark uh, winter day. See how nice that looks compared to this image. And this is all basically done in iMovie. So anyway, I hope that you learned something from this. It's pretty simple. Okay, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, subscribe for more videos. Uh, easy Apple tutorials. I hope this was easy for you. Bye-bye.